Okay, this is the third in a series of videos that I'm making as a supplement to some articles that I posted on my PFSense blog, pfsensesetup.com. In this video, I'm going to cover configuring optional interfaces in PFSense. Specifically, I'm going to show how to set up a demilitarized zone, DMZ. And the demilitarized zone in networking is a relatively simple concept. The idea is that we want to be able, we want to set up some services to be available. You know, for example, we might want to set up an, an FTP server, but we don't want to put it on the, on the LAN because we're worried about compromising the security of the of the LAN. So the solution, or at least a potential solution, is to set up a DMZ and put the FTP server or whatever other uh, server that we or server or service that we we want to put up put on the DMZ instead. And with the DMZ, traffic will be allowed to pass between the internet and the DMZ or uh, the the WAN and and the DMZ traffic will be allowed to pass from the LAN to the demilitarized zone but and here's the key concept traffic cannot pass from the DMZ back to the LAN so the 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 LAN security is not compromised at least uh, theoretically Okay, we're going to start by logging into PFSense here. I'm just going to click on the uh, key icon there and, and it'll log us right in. And here we are. This We have the uh, PFSense dashboard here. And we want to browse to interfaces and we have three interfaces here LAN, Opt1, and WAN. And obviously LAN is for local area network, WAN is for wide area network, but we have Opt1 which is uh, a third network card that we have in, in the uh, PFSense box so that's the one that we want to set up as the DMZ. So we have general configuration. Uh, well, first we want to click the uh, Enable interface checkbox. I want to alter the description to DMZ so we know what it is. And let's see, our, for type, we're going to choose static and use static IP address. And we're not going to do any MAC address spoofing, and we're not going to change the uh, the MTU or the MSS. And we're not going to change speed and duplex either, so we're going to go straight to static IP configuration. And I'm going to type in 192.168. And I, I would use the 2, two as 192.168.2.1, but I'm using that subnet for something else. So I'm going to type in 192.168.3.1. And the net prefix is, is uh, 24 bits so we're going to put in 24 in the, select 24 in this drop down box here for gateway we're going to select none so it won't know how to communicate with uh, any other networks unless we uh, so that that will guarantee that it won't be able to uh, to send traffic to the LAN because it won't it won't know it won't have a gateway. Okay, you now we have private networks, block private networks, block bogon networks. We're going to leave that unchecked so that uh, that way the LAN traffic can uh, can pass through to the DMZ. And we're going to save this. Uh, we're going to click on the save button. And we're done. So we set up a DMZ 